Hi there and welcome. Welcome to CSS Simple Selector. There are so many selectors type in CSS and the very first one is the CSS Simple Selector. A CSS selector selects the HTML element you want to style. Using the simple CSS selector, you can select your element using five different categories. The first one is the element selector, the ID selector, the class selector, the universal selector, and the grouping selector. So let's check this in our code. So let's begin. The first selector type, I'm going to create a comment here, is the element selector. The element selector is what we've used previously. So let's say we have an H2 here that says, I love to program. For the continuity of this course, I will be using the style sheets, the internal style sheets, the one in the head, so that we can see everything we're doing on one page. When I need to use the external style sheets, I would let you know. So to target this H2 element, I love to program. All we need to do using the element selector is to type out the element name, which is H2, and we can style it now. So let's say we want to give it a color of blue what happens let's reload our page you see i love the program is in blue the second type of selector we have the second type of selector we have is the id selector in the id selector you use an id to target the element so from our last class i showed you what an id is to create an id attribute you just type id and you give it a name. Let's call this heading. To target an ID element, you use ash or octotop. Octotop heading. And let's give the second I love the program a different color. Let's say color green. Reload the page and you see the color has been applied because we are applying it to the heading. The second one is, the third one is the class selector. In the class selector, let's create a new tag, maybe a paragraph tag, and let's put in dummy test. To create a class, you use the class attribute, and you say, let's call it paragraph. You can call it anything. In short, let me call it para. To target para, you use dot para. And let's give it a background color of yellow. Let's see what happens to our paragraph. You see, now it has a yellow background because we are targeting it with the class selector. The fourth one is the universal selector. The universal selector, you don't need to apply it to an element. Instead, you use the star symbol. It applies to everything in the HTML. And let's say we want to give the whole body. Let's, let's say we want to give our entire program a background. So let's say background color is equals to red. Most times, you would not be using this universal selector to maybe apply colors. But when we start our project, you will see where you can apply it. So you see, I've used the universal selector to make our entire page red in color. The last one is the grouping selector. Grouping selector is used to group all your selectors together. So instead of having H2, adding and para, we can group them all together and give them uh, a style. So let's say we have H2, then we add heading. This is going to save you a lot of typing and para. We can give them all a style. We can give them font size 
of 50 pixel. Now their size will become big. Let's see. And that is it. So this is H this is CSS simple selectors, and I've been able to show you the element selector, the high D selector, class selector, universal selector, and grouping selector. Please practice on your own. Practice makes perfect. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.